Namaste, Pramod Batra, RSV School. Today we are going to take class 10th Mathematics, Chapter 14, Statistics. We have three measures of central tendency. When we have a data, from the data we can find three measures of central tendency that is the mean, median and mode. The mean of the data. Mean of the data is the average or the arithmetic mean of the data. The median is the middlemost term. However, when we are doing group frequency distribution, then we do not have the terms with us, but we know that what term could be out of the whole data, the median of the data. The mode. Mode, as we all know, is the most popular term, the most frequent occurring term. Now again, in the group frequency distribution, the mode cannot be established by just seeing the data. But again, the mode can be established from the group that has the highest frequency. One by one, we will be studying the three mean, median and mode and taking different methods, we will find the measures of central tendency. First of all, let us consider the mean, the arithmetic mean, the average of the data. If we go about this particular question, 14.1, question number 1, we have number of plants. Then we have the number of houses. All right, these are 0 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8, 8 to 10, 10 to 12, and 12 to 14. The number of plants and the number of houses. Now, 0 to 2 plants, only one house is there having 0 to 2 plants. 2, 1, 5, 6, 2, 3. 2, 3. Right? We have a total number of houses that is 20. This is known as the sum of the frequency which we denote as sigma fi sigma sum of summation of the frequency all right now here we are going to find xi xi is the class marks or the mid value upper lower limit plus upper limit upon 2 lower limit plus upper limit upon 2 and so on Upper limit minus lower limit is called the class size or the class height or the class width. Since the difference here between the upper and lower limit is same, that is 2. So we say the class size is 2. And here also we see that the difference between the class marks is 2. So while filling this data, we need not calculate each time the average of the upper and the lower limit, but simply we can add the class size in each class mark. Now, since the values of xi and fi are very small, the calculations are very simple, so we will be going for a direct method. fi, xi. That is, I am going to find the product of these two columns. 1, 6, 5, 35, 54, 22 and 26 
and this is called sigma f i x i the sum of this column which is 162 now we will calculate the mean the mean is x bar that is sigma f i x i upon sigma f i which is 162 upon 20 which is 8.1 therefore the average or the mean plants mean number of plants is 8.1 this is how we calculate the mean by using direct method however sometimes the value of the class marks and the frequency are large when they are big numbers this direct method is however not suitable right for that we will be going for the second method that is called assumed mean method right thank you so much